way that I approached Keith's work and Robert's work and John's work was, no, I, I said, I don't want to do anything that Uniqlo's done. I don't want to do anything that Tommy Hilfiger's done. I don't want to do anything, because all that, you know, they're doing that for commercial reasons. And so I wanted to look at the side of their work um, that really spoke to me and, and what I was doing. And so I looked at, Keith Haring had a real deep connection to club culture in New York. You know, he yeah. did early flyers for Junior Vasquez for a club called Baseline. Um, I used a lot of his unseen work mm -hmm. that I was able to, Gil Vasquez of the Keith Haring Foundation was so lovely to let me use. And with Jean's work, he used a lot of jazz when he was painting his work. So I wanted to focus on his relationship to music. And with Robert, I wanted to focus on the controversial art of the black male body because um, a lot of people, his work is controversial because you had this white gay man photographing black men and it was it objectification was it sexual desire and so i really just thought as a black trans woman taking this queer art from in that context it was sort of give it new meaning and new eyes and so it was looking at a side of their work that really wasn't so commercial in a way yeah. um and also i'm really 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 adamant about focusing on all of the art and voices that we lost to the aids crisis in the early so 80s too. Um, my favorite time in history is 1977, which is the beginning of disco, to 1985. Um, and and I, I, I'm just still learning so much about that time, about all these artists that passed away from AIDS, because you had two generations of artists that highly creative people and the audience that understood that art. Yeah. So the B, C, D list people came up, and here we are today. Um, so... I'm trying to do activism and giving these incredible, incredible people. Keith died of AIDS at the age of, he moved to New York in 77, was diagnosed in 87 and passed away in 90. Mm -hmm. So he did that vast amount of work in 13 years. Yeah. Robert, he's so generous with his art. So generous well. with his art. Yeah. Um, he died, Robert died in 89, Keith died, Basquiat died in 88, Robert died in 89, and Keith died in 90. So, and, and they did this prolific amount of work. And so um, I've always been such a huge fan and, and I'm really, really interested in who decides what we see? Yeah. Who decides what's good? And who's gatekeeping what we don't see? And I'm interested in the shit that we don't see. Yeah. Because in the law of physics, what you also, doesn't see, what you also don't see exists as well. So that's where I like the dark, darker side of life and, and looking behind the curtain. So. <laughs> My whole creative process is about shit you ain't seen yet. <laughs> um, Even my DJing, my DJing is literally an amalgamation of so many people, experiential. Um, the word du jour. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I was so blessed to go to Body and Soul, and I was so blessed to, to hang out in the booth with Danny and, and hang out with Derek and one of the first times I went to Body and Soul I was I was blown away by it because like the just that sense of community there and like you can, yeah. go and you can go and get the fried chicken there's people rollerblading everywhere I wasn't so like, happy about the no fried mixing. chicken to it was just... the fried chicken was so cute but. <laughs> but it was like it really opened my eyes and I had a really emotional like moment while I was there it was it was, it was like I'm so glad like I got to experience it yeah even if, even if not back then yeah you know at the time when it was uh, still going so you know what I love about that dance floor in particular is that it was multi-generational yeah it was multi-ethnic it was gay straight purple green yellow and and it was for the love of music and that's what I do or try to do with my work I don't want it to be this all one monocultural, monogender, I, like that shit bores me. I don't want to go to anywhere where it's one color. Yeah. I'm out. Um, and that's one of the things I love about Berlin and Panorama Bar is the multi-generational. There's no shame in someone advanced in their years dancing to someone that's 20. Yeah. And I think it's so important that people, if you're 50, 60, 70, if you like a certain type of music, you feel like you can't be a part of it because of societal bullshit. So I love that about, I wish it was more like that in the UK. I feel like a little bit it's still marketed as a young person's yeah. thing. Yeah. And I think it's really unfair because this music is for everyone. It doesn't matter if you're 90 or 12. Yeah. So that's and just my two cents. <laughs>